A chopper toward first. Big hop for Ryan Howard. He'll take it to the bag himself. And the Phillies have finished off this ball game against the Houston Astros and have won their third consecutive National League East crowd. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast, and that was the Philadelphia Phillies celebrating their third straight division title. Raul Abanez belted out a two-run homer as the Phillies foiled the Astros 10-3. The Vikings actually clinched the NL East minutes earlier than their last out as the Marlins beat the Braves 5-4. Ronnie Polino picked off Matt Diaz at third to end the game and the Bravos rally. Ricky Nolasco had 16 Ks in the win, including nine straight at one point. The Rockies shrunk their magic number to clinch a playoff spot to one as they beat the Brewers 10 to six. Troy Tulowitzki took out one of three homers for the Rocks in the victory. The Tigers shrunk their magic number to two as they beat the Twins seven to two. Maglio Ordonez hit a three-run double in the triumph. The trick can lock up the AL Central with a win over Minnesota on Thursday. The Dodgers' magic number to win the NL West remained at one as they managed only one hit in a 5-0 loss to the Padres. Kevin Kuzminoff led the Friars, firing out a three-run home run. Roy Halladay fired a three-hitter, sitting down six as the Jays beat the Bo Sox 12-0. Boston, who clinched the AL wildcard with a Texas loss on Tuesday, has lost six in a row. Lance Nix hammered out a grand slam as the Reds clipped the card 6-1. The NL Central champs have lost three straight since clinching. The Royals beat the Yankees 4-3. John Buck tripled in the go-ahead in the seventh. Matt Palmer combined with four relievers to one-hit Texas as the Angels shut out the Rangers 5-0. Brad Penny went the full nine and sat down five, helping the Giants slay the Diamondbacks 4-1. Justin Maxwell hit out a grand slam off Francisco Rodriguez in the ninth to give the Nationals a 7-4 walk-off win. Charlie Morton tossed a four-hit shutout as the Pirates down the Cubs 4-0 in game one of a doubleheader. And then the Bucks got a 4-4-4 four four, four RBI performance from Ryan Domit to beat the Cubbies 8-2 in game two. Ben Zobrist hammered out a three-run home run as the Rays beat the Orioles 5-3, sending Baltimore on to its 13th straight loss. The White Sox and Indians split a doubleheader. The Tribe won game one 5-1, thanks in part to a home run from Travis Hafner while the Chai Sox took game two, one nothing, getting an RBI single from Paul Konerko. The Indians also made some off-the-field news, relieving manager Eric Wedge of his duties. Wedge will manage the team until the end of the season. And finally, Brandon Morrow went eight and came nine as the Mariners shut out the A's, seven nothing. For score stats and in-depth highlights from all the action, stay locked to MLP.com, where baseball is always on.